Today I'm looking at uh, magnetic fields, and the reason for that is I've the past few days I've been looking at some just kind of a homemade uh, alternator with some permanent magnets, and and uh, some of that study has just kind of led into magnetic fields and magnetic flux, since that has a lot to do with the efficiency and the effectiveness of a permanent magnet alternator or a uh, or a generator, and trying to improve the voltage output how the coils should be set up and if you ever get into get into that study you'll you'll hear a lot about magnetic flux and how the coils are laid out and number of turns and things like that so I just wanted to kind of show you today uh, some magnetic field field lines and how those field lines can be uh, disrupted or uh, swayed and what they kind of look like using these these uh, iron filings that I just pulled out from behind a uh, bench grinder out in my shop. So uh, they're suspended on a plate of, plate of glass between two paint cans. So uh, hopefully you can uh, enjoy this little array of, of magnetism. So just a normal magnet. I'm using these. Uh, hopefully you can see these. They're kind of some just junk magnets that I pulled out of an old uh, elliptical machine. They're used as a kind of a magnetic brake. So I've got a set of seven of them here, and they're not extremely powerful, but they're good enough for this uh, for this demonstration here. So if I take a set of them, and they're lined up north to south, north to south, so there's a north pole and a south pole, and I don't know which pole's which, but it doesn't really matter for this. But if I hold it under under the iron filings, you can you can see the uh, the filings follow. And they're all sticking out from the from the center, and so you can kind of see the the magnetic fields, or at least I hope you can from the angle the camera's in. Now, if I take a second set of magnets, this set's got four magnets in it, so it's a little bit more powerful than the first set. And if I Hold the magnets, both sets, with uh, opposite ends. So this is a uh, one pole, and this is the opposite pole, and the same on the other end. If I hold this under there, you will be able to see two distinct arrays of fields coming out of both poles, and then you'll see this kind of center section, which is all flat, and that's the magnetic field lines coming out of one magnet and going into the other. And then there'll be a series of those same uh, lines coming out the opposite end. So they kind of form a circuit, a magnetic circuit, of just those field lines going in one pole and out the other. And they don't necessarily, as you can see here, they don't necessarily have to be for, from the same magnet. So they'll flow in through the, set, the second set of magnets, out the other end, and then back up through the first. Now something that's kind of interesting is that we separate these magnets and get a few of the filings onto each set. See if I can arrange that. Not working out too great. We'll just separate them. So we can get kind of two, two sets of fields going. Two separate magnets. Now on one set I want to flip it. So now both are the same pole on the end facing the glass. When I bring these together, unlike the previous time, where you'll see that kind of magnetic bridge, now you see the field lines are diverging or they're, they're scattered, so they're not connected. It's not flowing in one magnet and out the other. They, they want to separate. This is what happens when I push them together. So you can, it's kind of challenging to push two, two opposing or similar poles together so they can diverge since they're not in alignment. If we switch it back around to opposite poles, you'll see that kind of bridge again. And then once they both come together, it's just kind of one continuous coming out and going in, coming out and going in to the length of the magnets.
So this is just something kind of fun, just using some old junk magnets and iron filings that can probably be found in a lot of places, especially if you haven't have a bench grinder or an angle grinder or near a shop somewhere, you can uh, usually find a few iron filings just flipping around with a magnet.